Today we're going to continue with the script we were working on, uh, and we're going to be working on uh, sizing and the geometry and placement of uh, a window. Uh, let's quickly look at the code that we wrote in the last tutorial. We used uh, a class to create our form here. So now anything we want to uh, say about this class or set it for this class or this object should be done within this class. Uh, and the way you do that is before when we were doing it in a procedural way, uh, we created the object win and that was our window and we would say win dot whatever resize or title or, or sorry set window title. Um, in this case, since we're inside that class, we just say self instead of saying the name of the object. So here we'll put self and we'll put set title, I'm sorry, set window title. Remember it is case sensitive. We'll say this is my window. We'll save that. No need to make it executable if you already have, you only have to do that once. So we'll do dot slash name of the script. And there you can see it titled the window, this is my window. So now let's look at doing um, some resizing of the window. That was the, just the default size. I'm not really sure what the default size is as far as pixel width um, and height. So here we can say self, so once again, it knows that we're talking about this window because we're saying self meaning within this form or this class. We're going to say self resize and we'll say we'll just say 50 by 50. It will make it a small little window. Uh, there we go. Run it again. And there's our window. It's 50 by 50. Uh, but you can resize it after you create it. But that's the size that we're setting it to when we create it. Uh, but there's another option. We already looked at the resize option in the first tutorial. We're just reviewing it here. But there's another option. It's called set geometry. And this takes four digits for input. So, and the last two are the size, the, the width and the height. So we have 50 by 50 there, but the first two is the top and the left. That's how far down, how far over uh, this, uh, this window will be. So the first would be uh, basically the left or the Y. And so we're gonna say, um, well, it depends on the, your screen width. I have two screens going, and this is actually my second screen, and, but it's, the computer recognizes it as basically one display. So I'm going to put my left, so that's how far from the left side of the screen the left edge of the window is. I'm going to set 2000, otherwise it would be off on the other screen in this case. So 2000, and I'll say 300 down. So it should be 2,000 over, and then the top of it, uh, the window should be 300 down, and the width should be 50, and the height should be 50. So let's go ahead and save that, run it. I typed something wrong. Oh, I forgot the S. So a little typo there. We'll come over here and we'll say set geometry, save it, run it, and there's our window. So instead of opening up in a random spot, like before it was opening either at the bottom of the screen or the top left of the screen, I set the exact position I want it to be at. So this is 300 uh, pixels down from the top of the window, or top of my screen, I'm sorry. Uh, let's change it and we'll say 600, so it should be further down than that. My guess is if it was right about here, it'd probably be right about down here when we run this. Oh. No, it went way further down. It's down here now. Oh, I did not realize I typed that. I must have <laughs> hit some key. Let's try that again. There we go. It's about where I thought it was going to be. So that is how you change the left, which is this number, the top, which is this number, this should be width here, so let's make the, the window 500 in width, and the height is 50. 
So we should get a really long window here, a really wide window, I guess I should say. So there you go. And that is how you use resize and geometry uh, when you're working with these windows. And remember, if you're doing it as a class, you just have to say self. And basically, it knows that we're talking about itself. So thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Also visit us, uh, our forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Have a great day.